welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year's. Since it's a new year, that also means it's time for another Girl of the Year by American Girl. This year it is Jaws, this is her box, and I have already unboxed her, but in this video I want to show you her up close. There are a few new features about this doll and the face mold. We have her accessories. We have her little cheer sack. This is like the drawstring bag. It was a free gift at the American Girl store if you went on the first or probably the first few days of the new year. They gave you this to go with your new doll. And a lot of people asked about the craft. Now this is the craft, let me get it for you. They were surfboards and you got to put the stickers on the front and on the back if you want it and it does have like this little hook on the back or not a hook but where you can place it on a hook on the wall so you can use it as art in your doll's bedroom that's really cool but a lot of people wanted to know how big was it was it as big as her surfboard and i just wanted to show you the size difference like these are really tiny they are meant for wall art they are not a full-size surfboard they could be for your barbie doll but not for your 18 inch American Girl doll. Speaking of her surfboard, show you the size difference right here. You see how tiny that is? It's like half the size. Anyways, you may notice that these colors look a little bit different than the surfboard that was released with her collection. That's because I have crafted this surfboard. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a surfboard for your new Girl of the Year doll, or several, you can have a, several surfboards. And I really like this because you can customize it to any color and style that you want. All right, let's open up the new doll, take a look at her, and then get to crafting. Now let's take a closer look at Joss. The doll retails for $98. You can buy her online or in the American Girl store. The doll does come with a book, I love the illustrations at the beginning of the book showing you the characters in her story. Joss also wears a hearing aid in her right ear. So the doll comes with instructions on how to use the hearing aid. You just place it in the ear. It comes with a hearing aid set with two hearing aids included. You also get one set of panties and they do not come on the doll because the doll is wearing a one-piece swimsuit. Because Joss comes with her hair down, she does have a hairnet. This one's a little tight, it's kind of tricky. I should have started underneath. But we'll remove the hairnet and you will see her cute hairstyle. She has a light brown hair. She has what I like to call a double twist. I do it on my girls all the time. I do a twist right along the hairline and then I do a second one like an inch further back and then use an elastic tie to hold it together. And you see she has a different ear mold than previous dolls and this is so the hearing aid will fit into her ear. And I like how her hair is pulled up on the right side so you can actually see her hearing aid. Both ears do look the same even though she only needs to wear it in her right ear. Joss has a little tan to her because she does live in California and she's obviously on the beach a lot and she has brown eyes. She comes wearing a lightweight hooded zipper jacket. It does have the waves emblem right here on the chest and on the sleeves and they look holographic like rainbow. Really cute design and they also have this in the size for girls. The zipper is in the shape of a star and it does completely unzip. 
I have some doll jackets that don't unzip all the way. It's so frustrating. So it does unzip and you can take it off. And now she's just wearing her swimsuit and jean shorts. The jean shorts have the high-waisted design on them, the three buttons in the front, extra loops like closer together, a double pocket on the right side even though the pockets are fake, and on the left side there is a stitch design, which is really cute. No pockets on the back, and at the bottom they look like they are rolled up. I love the fact that this doll comes already wearing a swimsuit. I love the low scoop on the back and the fact that she still can cover up with her jean shorts and her jacket and look complete. Here is a closer look of her hearing aid and how it fits onto the ear. Just kind of tilt it until it matches up with the shape of the ear. It presses onto the inside and then just goes along the back side. The hearing aids that come with Joss are blue. I'm sure American Girl is going to release some other options in the future or maybe even have a customizable kit. That would be really neat. This is Joss's accessory set and this set retails for $30. Here is everything laid out in the set. The main piece I think would be her purse. It has the rope handle on it and it's fringed at the bottom. There is no clasp, it just kind of folds over on the top, but this top piece, it is like a pocket, so you can put items in the top and down in the actual purse. And then it just, it doesn't fully close, but it just kind of lays over and you have the purse. And then these items fit inside. My favorite thing out of this entire set is gonna have to be this little key. It is really cute. It has this little fringed keychain, and then it has the waves on the key that you'll see throughout her collection. And it looks like a real key. I will say it may be a little bit on the small side. The keys that I've made for the dolls in the past were a little bit bigger than this, and I think they were pretty close. Is this the first key that we've seen from American Girl? I think it is. Or yeah, I think this is the first key I've seen. You also get a little notebook journal. See the palm trees on the front? Perfect for California. Flip it open. The first two pages right here are full of notes. Video contest ideas listed on the left and then cheer moves to master on the right. And Joss has also done check marks. One, two, three, or help. So she's working on cheer moves and then you fold and then you turn to the next page and you have her schedule every day of the week and then be all in 100%. And then the rest of the notebook is blank so you can make your own notes and to-do lists and things like that. She also has a Shine Athletics membership card with a little scanner on it or a little barcode on it, her name, and then on the back, present this card each time you go to the gym, which my daughter Lexi says we need to create a gym for her so she can go practice in. That would be really fun also. You have two bracelets. One is just the type where you stretch it over the hand. Little blue beads on there. And then the other is a friendship type bracelet that clasps together. And then it has a little American Girl chain that dangles off. This is what the braid looks like close up. That would be very easy to do because it's just a simple braid. Of course you have her cell phone, just the blue cell phone case, plain black phone, and then this is the screen saver that you have. So it's kind of, it matches her whole theme with the like rainbow ombre thing going on, just like her surfboard. And then this side is her home screen. So it's cute, you have like a little, looks like a beach app, a wave, that's probably a surfing app, a cheer app, camera app, and there's American Girl app on there too. All right, there we have her phone. You also have, look, that same color it's like the ombre, you got the pinks and the blues on there, it's kind of like the front of this notebook. These are her sunglasses, very beachy. And a few dollars to put in the purse. There's no wallet, but there's three dollars. Now in the past we've had a couple dollar bills from American Girl that were front and back, but these are just printed on the front. It's kind of strange that they already have the print, but we only got the front. So you have three dollars, and that is everything included in her accessories. Now let's craft a surfboard. For this craft, you will need cardboard, bracelet cord, a mini hair tie, strips of paper, 
a hot glue gun, flour, and a bowl to mix the flour and water. Let's start by sketching the shape of the surfboard onto the cardboard. The surfboard needs to be taller than the doll, so anything between 19 and 20 inches would be the ideal height for the doll surfboard. Once you're happy with the shape of your surfboard, carefully cut it out. Now that you have a template to work with, place it on a second piece of cardboard and trace it on top. Cut it out just as you did the first, so now you have two layers for your surfboard. Make a mark at the bottom of your surfboard in the center, and this is where your ankle strap cord will go. Poke through the cardboard to make a hole. Take your bracelet cord, poke it through the hole of the surfboard, pull it through the backside a few inches just so you can secure it into place using tape or hot glue, and this will secure it making sure the ankle strap never pops off your surfboard. On that same side of the surfboard, apply hot glue, take your second piece of cardboard, place it over the exposed extra cord, press the two cardboard pieces together, and now hold the surfboard, one hand at each end, and slightly give it a bend. While the hot glue is drying, this will make sure the surfboard has a slight curve in it. Measure your exposed cord about 10 inches and you can cut off the excess. To protect it from the paper mache process, place painter's tape around it and just let it hang over to the side. Turn your surfboard over, cut out three small fins with cardboard and glue them to the backside of your surfboard. Try to make the fins as close in size as possible. For the paper mache mixture, I use one part flour and two parts water. Mix it all together until it's very smooth and there are no lumps left in the batter. Take scrap paper and tear it into strips. For projects like this, I usually like to have the strips somewhat similar in size. It just makes it easier if they're all uniform. Now take the strips of paper, dip it into your batter, use your fingers to wipe off any excess batter and wrap your cardboard surfboard. It's best to figure out a pattern that you wanna wrap it in, that way the surfboard is smooth and even in size. I first started by doing long strips along the outside of the surfboard, but then quickly changed to do smaller strips because it was much easier to work with around the corners. Here you see I have all the edges wrapped with one layer of paper mache and I've covered all three fins with at least three layers of paper mache. They will be a little bit wiggly while it is wet, but once the fins dry, they are going to be hard as a rock. Make sure you layer the paper mache on the fins so it attaches to the fin and the back of the surfboard, giving it extra support. Once you've wrapped your fins and you think they are strong enough, continue wrapping the rest of your surfboard. I gave the edges two layers of paper mache before I moved on to the middle and just wrapping it all over again. I just wanted to make sure the edges were completely covered because cardboard kind of has a rough edge and the paper mache makes it much smoother. Once you've reached the desired thickness of your surfboard, let the paper mache completely dry. You may need to do this overnight. However, if you're a little impatient like me, you can take a hair dryer to it and work it for a few minutes. Just make sure it's not still soft. You will find that the surface of your surfboard is not exactly smooth to the touch. So this is where you take your fine grit sandpaper and lightly buff out the rough edges on the surfboard. This is very easy to do. It's not going to harm your paper mache at all. And you can find that you can even shape it a little bit while you're sanding. But if there are any chunks or little bits of flour or uneven paper, you can smooth out those rough edges. Wipe away any excess dust and then seal the paper mache with a gesso. You can skip the gesso if you want to, however I highly recommend using it because when working with paper mache, you need to seal the paper before you start painting on top of it, especially if you have like a water-based paint because the paper will start to bubble up and warp, but the gesso will seal it so then you can do as many layers on top of it as you'd like. Have fun with it and paint the surfboard any color you like.
You can seal the paint with a varnish or a triple thick if you want your surfboard to be extra glossy, which I do, so I'm going with the triple thick. Once the protective coat is dry, go ahead and unwrap that bracelet cord that is sticking out of the surfboard, which is actually going to be your ankle strap. Pull it straight down the center of the surfboard, measuring about seven to eight inches. Take your mini hair tie, tie a knot around it, cut off the excess, and now you have an ankle strap attached to your surfboard. Your surfboard is now complete with the fins underneath, a cool paint job, and the ankle strap that won't let your doll lose her surfboard. Now it's time to test it out. Since the hair tie is elastic, it will easily fit over the bottom of your doll's foot, securing to the ankle, and now you can place the doll's feet on the surfboard, and she is ready to hit the waves. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed checking out the new Girl of the Year Joss with me. And most importantly, I hope you enjoyed this new craft because this surfboard is really cool. I hope you go make your own. And if you do, be sure to share it on social media and tag me at Totally Rudy. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, and share the video with your friends. Thanks! Hashtag just craft it.